Hello everyone. Today we have with Professor Dr. Jagdish Rai Luthra. Before beginning this interview, I would like to grab the opportunity to introduce our guest of honor, Professor Dr. Jagdish Rai. He is the president of Suresh Gyan Vihar University, Jaipur. He received his education from IIT Delhi. After completing his doctoral studies, he got an opportunity to work as a postdoctoral fellow in USA. He also held several faculty positions in USA. He was awarded the Research Associateship of National Research Council, National Academy of Sciences, USA. He also worked at the US Army Missile Command several projects for three years. He is the recipient of National Science Talent Scholarship with All India Rank 29. He returned to India and joined IIT Kanpur in 1990, where he worked for 10 years doing teaching and research, guided several PhD and master students, and actively collaborated with many USA universities. He joined Dartmouth College and Ivy League College as professor in 2000. He was invited to South America to set up several institutions. He started the doctoral program in Universidad de Los Andes. In India, he has been director and dean at Ansels, MIT, Modi, and now president at Suresh Gyan Vihar University. He is also an academic affiliate of the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, USA. So let's begin with the interview. The first question that pops up in my mind after introducing you is that you have held key position at Education Institute throughout your professional career. What are the key factors that keep you connected with the education sector? Thank you for your kind introduction. I also thank College Dunia for inviting me for this brief talk. Uh, you've asked me a very interesting question. And let me express my views on education. Education is an instrument that can transform lives and society. I want to begin with a little bit about Gyan Vihar. I joined Gyan Vihar last year. It is one of the top institutions of Rajasthan and it's also a NAC institution. Now coming back to your question, in education, what connects me is three factors. Number one is teaching, number two is learning, and number three is research. Let me go in a little depth about this. Teaching, of course, the principal job of a university is to teach. But teaching alone is not enough. You have to provide many stimulations for teaching to be accomplished. At Gyan Vihar particularly, we use many fold approach to conducively impart teaching to our students. Once you teach, this receptor of our knowledge is learning. We also have to make sure that the teaching has gone successfully and the learning is being impacted. Now, once the teaching learning exercise is done, there is also a very important part in academics and that is research. The research keeps you active in mind and sharpens your tools. So I encourage all my faculty to be very active in research. And I'm very proud to tell you that in, since I've joined Suresh Gyan Vihar University, we have produced more than 200 quality indexed publications. So things that connect me, teaching, learning, and research. Thank you for the wonderful answer, sir. Let's continue with the interview. So my next question to you is, when you first came to Suresh Gyan Vihar University, what was your vision for the university? Has it evolved over time? And how far along in implementing that vision are you? Very interesting question. Uh, as I mentioned, before joining, Suresh Gyan Vihar University. My previous assignment was also in Rajasthan at uh, Modi University. So I knew about this little pearl of a university, little gem of a university. And I was dreaming 
field of becoming a vice chancellor because I had come to a stage in my career where I wanted to lead a university. And I tell all my students, if you dream really hard and work toward it, your dreams come true. And for surprise, I received an offer from Suresh Yamiya University. I'm really privileged to be here in this NAC A grade institution. So what was my vision when I came here? It is in many aspects. Number one, I wanted to, as having international experience, I've taught in the USA, in Ivy League, in South America. I wanted to bring a university at the standards of international universities. That was my dream. And I, from day one, we started working towards that goal to bring our university to international standards. Of course, it has been a challenging year throughout the world with COVID. But even during COVID time at Gyan Bihar, we have accomplished many things that I like to mention that we, Gyan Bihar already had a system of learning management system called LMS in place. So while other universities were scrambling around to look for media to teach, we, within the first week, were able to resume our teaching. And also with teaching, a very important point is testing. We also had our LMS trained for testing. So we were able to conduct assignments, interim examinations, and most everything that we were doing from the university, we were able to do it on the online platform. So I will not say that my dreams have received a hurdle. In fact, we have turned crisis into opportunity. And would you believe that our classes were so interesting that our attendance actually shot up? And also I like to add, that we were the only university in the whole world, I'm keeping track, which conducted the final examination for all years. First year, second year, third year, fourth year, and wherever applicable for the fifth year. The UGC recommendation was to conduct the end term examination for only final year. So practically, we were able to achieve everything that we have planned and I'm on track to taking this university to international standards. And I hope in, within my term, I will be able to achieve the target. That is so great accomplishment, sir, that even pandemic like COVID could not stop Gyan Vihar University to achieve its goal. So moving on. My next question is that the education system in India and other foreign countries are structured very differently. In your experience, what can an inbound student gain from studying here in your institution? Very, very good question. By inbound, here you mean students coming from the international, from other countries. If we look at India, today India is actually a superpower one of the top countries. Just let me quote an example. Just look around you, take top 25 companies, Google, you name IBM, Microsoft, Nokia. Would you believe that the heads of top 25 companies in the world are Indians? So there must be something very good about Indian education. Having worked in the US, I've also seen the US education. US is a superpower. Of course, US is suffering because of Corona, but you know, it was a superpower. And there must be something good about that system also. So let me tell you the difference is the Western education is a very practical education. While the Indian education system is very rigorous and is based on the system of vote. It has its pluses and minuses. So there is a practical hands-on education in the US and there is this education. So the combination of the two would be an ideal system 
but there is a great strength in indian education and that is the spiritual connection as i say west is all about matter and east is all about spirit so any inbound student coming to india will receive international level education with a spiritual bent of mind you know once your spirit is strong you are trained to encounter any situation so therefore the indian education that we import is no way inferior to any other university in the world but it is also backed up with the indian diversity look at diversity in languages look at diversity in our all around so an educated inbound student will benefit a great deal by an education in it so suresh gyan vihar university is maintaining a balance between the practical approach of usa and the rigor and the spirituality in indian education system moving on the next question is that according to you what are the greatest strength of your institution of suresh gyan vihar so my next question the greatest strength of gyan vihar is we work Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Continue, please. Okay, okay. So I'll ask the question again, sir. According to you, what are the greatest yeah. greatest strength of Suresh Kyan Vihar University? There are many strengths. The biggest of them all, strongest of them all, is at Suresh Kyan Vihar. we study like a family we teach like a family with love and affection towards the student i always tell my faculty love your students and with this process the learning is smooth in addition we also have a very strong academia industry interface we have 11 schools and we have many centers of excellence each one of them is empowered with an academia industry interface let me take the example of school of business in school of business our mba program is empowered with harvard hbsp harvard harvard business school publish what happens in this when students come they are not only exposed to book reading but they are also exposed to simulations and case studies this is a very costly program that we provide for our students in usa today when you do an mba program they don't give you books they give you case studies that this is the scenario you have to go and analyze we have adopted that approach from Harvard to apply to our school of business where we find that this approach is very good now let's come to engineering in engineering we are empowered with google our we we have a center of learn google and we, not only for the benefit of training let me give you an example the training that we imparted in google brought our student package of 24 lakh and this is just the beginning much the best is yet to come and in other aspects of engineering we also have dia with rexro with bosch so all our study programs even in agriculture they are empowered 
we have a very good exposure we have a very good exposure to industry there even during the corona period we have arranged online internships and everything so i want to say we really want health on education students just as they graduate they are ready to run there is no further training needed in between the job so they are ready for their job from day one as they graduate from gap this is one of the biggest asset of this of course we have a very beautiful campus we provide all amenities to our students and our students really enjoy i invite all the students to come and take a tour and if necessary we will arrange a video tour for them thanks so gyan vihar is like a family to a student and once a student steps in gyan vihar he or she is secure for their future moving on what valuable advices would you like to give to the students who are about to start their career in the professional world yes i always tell my students remember three p's three p's number 1 p is passion Number two is perseverance, and number three P is pride. Identify your passion. Once you have identified your passion, if you love your work, your job will become a lot easier. It will be a joy to go to work. I I felt it myself from very early age. I had a great love for physics, and throughout my career. there has i have never felt that i am doing something burdened every moment the passion kindles your spark so number one choose your career very carefully in fact today a person spends more time in the career than the, even with the family so choose your passion very carefully because you are going to spend your life doing this and second just by choosing your passion is not you also have to persevere you have to work hard to achieve your goal so once you are starting your career it's the best time to cultivate hard working hard habits if you have got good habits then you know your time management and all of these skills will improve with you and third you can't do everything in life you need to prioritize i always tell my students make a list and now out of that list identify what is your priority for today so all students who are on the threshold of starting their career remember the three p's passion perseverance and priority if you have these three p's in control you will be on the road to success thank you sir for this valuable advice i hope that many students will get benefited from your 3p policy moving ahead what are the major challenges that you have faced during during your tenure at suresh gyan vihar university how did you overcome them i tell you the major challenge i have faced is not only as suresh gyan here but also for my entire life i have not seen a challenge like that within i joined in the month of november and in march the corona was on full swing so it was really a challenge but you know you can turn a crisis into opportunity and that's exactly what we were able to do at gyan as i mentioned before from day 1 on i still remember when the notice came we on that very day were making plans how we are going to conduct the education you will be surprised even today several government universities have not even been able to conduct any semester examination within a weeks time we overcame the challenge because we had a learning management system this is the foresight that is needed you know, anything can happen 
So with that foresight, we went ahead and provided the education to the best of our abilities and in some cases, even better than before. Let me give you an example. The video lectures were posted on YouTube, the, on YouTube, then the experiments were done in the labs and then experiments were shown to the student through video. Today it's become so easy, you know, technology has advanced. We can just show them with a mobile phone, we can show a happening of an experiment. So everything possible we were able to do. And I have one slogan that I want to say, no student of Gyan Vihar will be left behind. We reached them by every possible medium. And let's see it. Phone call, WhatsApp, email. In fact, many of our activities were done through Facebook Live. And fortunately, till today, such systems are free. So we were able to make a very good continuation and overcoming this challenge by technology and by the dedication of my team. I tell you, Team SGVU, many thanks to it. Each one of Team SGVU is a working warrior during the Corona and has contributed to the great success of the mission. So we were very successfully able to overcome. And we learned a lot. The faculty publications went up. So literally the crisis was turned into an opportunity at Gyan. Your answer clearly states that Gyan Vihar University is always ready for the challenges that comes in its way. So let's moving on. My last question to you, sir, is that how do you tend to establish a healthy relation and environment in your university? Yes. Once again, I say we work like a family. So naturally, our relations are already very healthy. But of course, these are difficult times. So I always tell my students and faculty that during this special time, we need great three things I'm going to point out. Hope, faith, and optimism. I repeat, keep your faith alive. Everything will work out. And always have hope. Never lose hope. People have, human beings have survived over millions of years. There was no medicine. There was nothing. Still, human beings are around for so long time. So keep your faith, hope, and always, I tell my staff, I tell my faculty, and I tell my students, be optimistic. There's nothing to lose. And also, I have another very important thing I always tell people. In your life, I also want to tell this message to my future students or anybody who's listening. In your life, at every stage, you have a choice to make. That choice is, you can choose a high road to going towards better ment of things. Or you can say, oh, I have lost the battle. I'm going. Choose the high road always and you will succeed. And at Gyan Vihar, we use these very effectively. All our faculty is very optimistic. Just they are looking, running to do work and they have very cordial relations with students. They take part in activities. Towards conclusion, I must not forget, we also have very strong 20 point program in which students are exposed to entrepreneurship, innovation, international relations, continuous evaluation, all these things exposed. And recently during the period of Corona, we have developed a new system of success score. How, what is the meaning of success in life? Can we impart a score to our students that will tell them this is the likelihood of your success, success in life. So Gyanwehar is a very active university. It's a century old effort and such efforts have been made beginning from very humble grounds and today to 
come to NACA institution. And I hope during my term, this is also going to take it to NAC A plus, perhaps NAC A plus plus. So thank you very much again for the I must say, sir, your words are very inspiring. Thank you so much for connecting with us, enlightening our minds with your enlightening words. I'm 100% sure that this interview will help various students around the globe. With this small note, I would like to conclude this session. Thanks again for a truly memorable interview. Take care. Thank you.